Hey there game makers and welcome to the first or oh, technically zero of remaking Undertale in Game Maker. So this will be of course not a super full whole game remade but just the basics and well let's give it a quick preview so you can see what's actually going on one enemy let's go for two enemies so there's a max of two enemies later and you can advance it if you like so everything has been shown the buttons the hp um, and then you got a little bit of modularity and then for example i don't know you choose one of those guys do the fish thing here <laughs> uh, attack and then um, depending uh, how much HP you have, then you have the mini game. Of course, here mini games are overlapping, so the more enemies you're having, the more uh, mini games are actually existing. So, for example, here, let's get this dude killed. Oh, well, I'm not doing any damage at all. All right, so this could be a log fight. So here, um, all these um, things are possible. Um, just for clarification, this is the final project. And what I'm offering is, of course, you can just deny it if you say like, eh, I want to have everything by myself. Here, um, I have a Series Remake Zero project file, which has basically just, uh, we can actually start it. So nothing in there besides the whole start level. So here we, we can just walk around and then enter a fight. And then if you enter a fight, nothing happens because, well, I deleted all the objects for that. So what does it have? Tons of uh, images. Uh, so basically, this is fascinating. Okay, it's loading that later on in. So basically, all the stuff which you're needing. I did a little bit of an overkill. So here, I just have two enemies finished with two uh, fighting patterns for the bullet hell game. But here, of course, if you want to have more, you can. So basically, tons of things. I'll just be utilizing this one and and the butterfly and that's pretty much it and then of course um, this is what you're getting in uh, where can you get it well it is actually in my discord so just go under a free stuff game maker and then you can just download it um, if you're just curious which graphics are mine or which are not or you just want a resource where to get those everything is in here of course I already imported so you just you know can take it over if you like and a second part is because these um, projects can get convoluted i made a little roadmap so what do we do well first of all we are starting off with a roaming area so this is one room and then for example once we entered we just go to an, another room where we having our battle choices and then we just have menu bottom which is just giving you know our um, choices between the buttons at the bottom and then um, each user event which signaled by this little number here is then uh, kind of one uh, state and that you can actually see in in the finished project which is abusing and using the user events is this the most uh, the best way no normally you would use the <laughs> scripts but i thought like hey uh, just package all that stuff in user event and then so everything is kind of neatly documented. Just a little warning. Um, there's tons of code here. <laughs> Just saying, you know, um, this is then definitely not meant for beginners. This is for intermediates. Of course, beginners can, you know, follow if they like. But if you don't know how to use and abuse uh, arrays, and then, uh, I don't know, for example, here, this thing here, which is a part of a constructor and so on, just saying you know you won't be having uh, you know the easiest time of course as usual I will explain it in detail so no worries about that but um, you know a few things are definitely not bad to know so because I'm trying to not rush it but you know try to get through it so as usual if the interest is not too high um, at some point I will just completely discontinue and then you know the project file will be stopped at that as usual but of course there, there's still a, uh, a final one which I'm having so I guess that will be where will I put it I guess in my patreon because you guys have been a little bit starved by me I'm sorry for that 
and then maybe I'm gonna sell it for one, two bucks or whatever. So if somebody wants to have it, the full version. And then here, just for explanation, because while well, a roadmap is appropriate, so just you just know visually where you are. So once again, you can go the road of uh, fighting, which is the slashing, then the fish thing, and then you have the animation, and then we are ending all the time up in the bullet hell, and then we we are just going back, and then once again, the menu and then for example once the enemies are all gone then we have a little calculation of xp and, and those values are actually one to one with uh, the ones from undertale so this is gonna calculate that stuff more or less uh, accurately of course you can you know tweak it and align it and change and whatever this is then up to you and then we are ending up again at the roaming and then well you can enter another fight if you like or for example here you can do the act thing the acting thing is a little bit different because this one is part of an HP pool of an enemy which you reduce and then if it has zero or less then well it's gonna get redu um, um, removed from the game. But the act option is always three options and then um, what I did here and then I took um, the recommendations from you guys at heart thought like hey this is then basically just a flat value of 10 and then um, some of these um, act options so dialogue options are for example completely meaningless so check is doing zero and this one is doing a little bit and the threat for example for the spiking dude is doing the, the most and then for example once the threshold of 10 is being uh, well overreached then uh, the enemy is gonna get yellowish and then he's getting a different flavor text than the standard one because the standard ones are just giving you an indication hey is the dialogue choice actually a good choice or not so here um a little distinguishing then once again it's a bullet hell and then later on well you know how hopefully how the mercy thing works so basically once the dude is yellow you can just select it and then he's getting um well kicked out of the game he's kind of getting killed but not you know in, in the traditional way so here here you get xp and here you get no xp so here this is how that works and then in the end this stuff is getting distributed then you're just getting gold and that's pretty much it so this is how the whole thing works in practice in and in theory so once again instructions for you if you want to do it just go on my youtube free stuff download that thing the project file it is mostly empty you cannot do much with it but tomorrow we will start and um doing what are we doing the first we will be doing i guess the most interesting part which is the bullet hell part um, at least the box and how you, you move the heart inside so this will be the first part and then we will just advance it um, and well do a lot of values so for example your constructor and so on um, yeah tons of values looking like uh, <laughs> a lot it kind of is but it shouldn't be too difficult hopefully to explain and get to the points which are in here so um, yeah, so I'm gonna see you tomorrow. So that was it then from my side with um, the remake of Undertale 0 and tomorrow officially starting number 1 with the evil thing, the coding part. <laughs> Alrighty, then see you tomorrow. Bye bye.